Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It's the last week of Taskmaster Tuesday's Season 2. This Taskmaster season means that I play against various other content creators, notably Serious Strategy Gamer, Spartan Elite, and Brother Monroe. Their channels are all linked down below. Each week, we can gain a certain number of points, and whoever gets the most points at the end of the season can call him or herself, well, currently only himself, the winner. This month, it looks to be like Serious Strategy Gamer is once again going to take the win. He's sitting on 12 points. He's followed by Brother Monroe at 9 points. Then I actually pop into the tournament at 8 points. And Spartan Elite, after having a bit of a worse week last time, has 7 points. So we're all very close together. But catching Serious Strategy Gamer is going to be difficult. All we can hope for is that he either makes a massive mistake... Or that, in this week, the enemy spawns in a couple of really big ships. Because what we're doing this week is building a battleship. We have three battleships and six escorting destroyers against three battleships, two battle cruisers, a light cruiser and six destroyers from the US. We can pick our own nation, and I'm going to go with Japan. The objectives are as follows. Sink all enemy battleships and battle cruisers for two points. Lose none of your battleships, one point. Lose none of your destroyers for one point, and use a ship that costs no more than 120 million for one point. So, let's get to building a Japanese battleship that is not too expensive. Now, this is not actually the first time that I'm recording this video, because last time around I clicked battle and the game said, Nope, sorry, too many threads. And that means uh, the game crashed and thus my recording was rendered completely useless. So I already know what I'm going to build, and it's going to be a gun platform that has 16-inch guns, because that is the requirement. You can have a maximum displacement of 60,000 tons, and you cannot have guns which are bigger than 60, or which are, yeah, which are bigger than 16-inch. So that is a pretty strict requirement, and it means that you have to go with well, 16s or smaller, but smaller in this case is not really that recommended considering that the enemy is coming at you with battleships and battlecruisers of the same year as your own. What I have found is that this hull does what I need it to do. Um, the only thing I have to keep a very close eye on is whether I can pull this off inside the build time, which is a maximum of 36 months. That's what I'm sitting on right now. Fortunately, installing stuff like radio rangefinder or like rangefinders and such uh, does not impact the build too much. And also, I want to get one point for building a ship that's cheaper than 120 million. So I have decided on something that looks like this: uh, A B X format. And I know there is a huge space on the deck here, but I really don't want to make it much smaller because I still have to add more armor to this ship and also some secondaries. My plan is largely to stay at range from the enemy. I'm not interested in closing the distance. Closing the distance is only more likely to get me killed. So instead, I want to keep at range and snipe away their battleships. Because they're the main objectives. Sink the battleships and the battle cruisers. That is for two points. It does not say sink all enemy ships, just sink all the enemy battleships and battle cruisers. So that should be doable as long as I snipe. And this turret, or sorry, this tower gives you a plus 60 to long range accuracy. Hold on, did I pick the right one? Yeah, I did not pick the right one. It should be the big pagoda tower because this gives you a plus 85. It's very, very substantial for a bonus. And in order to keep the DDs from killing me, I'm going to go with a small amount of secondary armament. It's only two inch guns. The DDs will get killed off if they get to 5 kilometers or less. But let's be honest, they probably won't. Not if I can manage it anyway. Um, I could do without these things, but they're only 6 tons. They really don't impact me too much. And let's go with, considering it's a sniper, a lot more deck armor. And potentially a bit more deck extended. At the expense of belt armor. And a bit of belt extended. The ship is a bit too heavy. Could I go with diesels or is that too expensive? It's not too expensive. Well, actually, it is too expensive. 
Um, that and this. Because I would very much appreciate some more damage control ability. Still 36 months, 119 million. <clears throat> Ship is a bit heavy. Um, where can I reduce some of that? It's not even that much that we need to lose. Yeah, there, throw off the hydraulic turrets, or the advanced hydraulics. It does mean I have 17% less turret rotation speed, but that should be fine. A bit more armor on the conning tower if I can manage it. Turret tops are going to be important. Um, the turret front, not as much. Secondary is a little bit more. And the speed of the ship will be 26 knots. She's not terribly quick, but she should be able to do it. Turning circle, 348 meters. Believe it or not, but this thing can turn really quickly. I don't exactly know how, but if the game says it can do it, I'll believe it. Yeah, there's not really that much that I can do to make her faster. So about 26 knots is as, is, is, well, it's as good as it's going to get. Engine efficiency, 100. Can I do that? Yeah, 81. It's not, not fantastic, but it'll do. 0.1 aft weight offset. Yeah, this will be fine. Oh, super heavy shells, though. Ugh. Making the ship overweight again. Bigger, bigger, bigger. No, I don't want to go there. I do not want to go to the bigger hull, because then I immediately... There. I just surpassed the 36-month build requirement. Or build limit. This is doable. But if I go one tick higher, like 54, 500 plus... The game says, nope, can't do it. Crap. I need to reduce 400 tons of armor somewhere. Uh, hmm. Where? Less deck extended armor? There we go. 5-inch deck, extended 12-inch deck. It's still not going to be sufficient, but maybe with an angled ship it might work. At, let's say, 15,000 to 17,000 meters, I can have a deck pen um, of, let's say, 9 to 10 inch. That's something that this ship should be able to sustain. Hopefully. Let's see if that's actually true against the Americans. Here we go. I got Musashi, Yamashio, and Yugai. Destroyers. Let's see. I can, if I so choose, I can get an easy point by losing none of my destroyers. And that means just pulling them all out to safety. And considering that they only have a torpedo range of 9.3, I think that might be the best option right now. At least keeping them very much at range. Uh, normal formation, where is the enemy fleet? Hello? Oh, there you are. Okay. 12 17-inch guns, 32 4-inch guns, 36 3-inch guns, and another 32 2-inch guns. The Americans love their guns. Battle cruisers. Oh, 14-inchers. <clears throat> Uh, they look bigger than that. 14-inch guns, 7s, 3s, and 2s. The battleship, 4s, 3s, and 2s. My 3s have a range of 8. I still don't like my <clears throat> lack of luck on the torpedoes. Because they're simply not good enough. Um, target the lead battleship and open fire. 33 kilometers. We're too far away. Crap. Alright, hard turn to port. DDs, I want you guys to just leave for now. Turn that way. Go. 
Let's take a pretty picture of the Musashi, <clears throat> or at least my imagining of the Musashi. I really love that pagoda tower. It just... <laughs> it's so huge. Massive tower there. Alright, that ought to do it. Their 17-inch guns will outrange mine. I just wonder if I've been detected yet. Because my tower is so tall that maybe they don't spot me. Because my radar is up higher than theirs. Chugai is already fairly confident in her ability to shoot. Hold on. Don't turn towards the Americans too much. We can rain down on them at 31 kilometers. So let's say it's about 30. I can pen 23 inches of deck armor. That's, that's actually where I want to be. Because the closer I get, the less that number becomes. DDs, sort yourselves out and get out. Seriously, just leave. The area here is completely unsafe for your presence. Yeah, we've already hit them. Twice. And still, they're not returning fire. It's definitely plunging fire that's coming in on the Americans here. Looks like they just had a little run-in with another ship. I heard a collision. Now the objective? Sink all enemy battleships and battle cruisers for two points. So I don't need to take on the rest of the fleet. And I'm not planning on it. Not at all. Um, you for Janami. 40 knots. You're one fast boy. Another hit. Join the Fujinami. Diff 4. You then. Join the other two DDs. You join the other two, or other three DDs. You join the other four, and you join the other five. And now we have something that resembles a formation. Just gonna keep them moving away. They still haven't seen me yet. But they're getting closer. Turn away from the target. They have spotted the Chagai. They know where I am. And they immediately open fire. Unsurprising, because I have already done some damage to them. They've spotted the Yamashio. Or Yamashio. Yep, the other boys are opening up too. Crap. Don't go for tight formation. Detach. I know this gives me limited firepower by being only able to use my stern gun, my stern battery. But I want to try and get away from them. They've already lost line of sight on the Yamashio. I'm hoping they can lose the Chagai as well. And this way I can do my 26 knots. They've spotted the Yamashio again. I hit them again. Structural should be about 80, maybe 75% now. Started on the DDs. There we go. That's more looking like a formation. I really hope I brought enough ammo for this. At this point, we should be able to bring all guns to bear again. Just have to go to tower. <laughs> Come on. Give me my Taskmaster points. I'm still behind on the other guys and I need them. Ooh, close hit. Okay, a near miss. 
75. We're getting somewhere with the ID. Ah, uh, DDs. Lose none of your DDs. One point. Maximum bulkheads. Very quick. But those torps... Oh. If they would have been 20 kilometer torps, I would have been so happy. Let's slow you guys down, because that usually builds a little bit more accuracy. Ninety-two percent ID. Oh, they've been spotted again. They opened fire on the two guy. Crap. Keep moving away slightly. Yeah, they spotted all of them. Another hit. Through the deck, extended on the stern. ID confirmed. North Dakota. The North Dakota has maximum bulkheads on an 85,000 ton warship. She can do 28 knots, which means she can keep up with me. Her turning circle is very poor. She has sonar too, so she'll see my torpedoes from very far away. And they hit the Yamashio. 99% structural. It wasn't that bad. Mid-deck. Yeah, I can bounce that. We're fighting at a range of 26 kilometers, let's say 25. You can pen 19.2 inches of deck armor, which is not sufficient. I have more. I have 12 plus 118%, so let's round that out to 25% or 25 inches of deck. My concern, however, is that I will run out of shells. Between these ships, I have about 2100, but I need to sink plenty of ships here. North Dakota, Kentucky, and Maine. Battlecruiser. Philippines. Maximum bulkheads. 30 knots. 14 inch guns. Sonar 3. Turning circle 922. Well, they don't turn very well. That could be a benefit. Could be something I can use. So far, very little damage. They've done 20 to me. I've done about 550 to them. Oh, there we go. I say that, and they pen the stern deck extended. Fortunately, nothing critical on there. That was another hit on North Dakota. She's down to 70%. Seemingly heading away slightly. Let's push in a bit. Ooh. Careful there. Turn. Don't turn too much. I don't want to lose my accuracy here. I'm going to keep doing damage. As much as possible. Because if I can eliminate one of their battleships, that's a substantial chunk of their damage dealing gone. Chance to pen. 46. Okay. What's my chance to pen their battlecruiser? 72. If I try to hit their battlecruiser, what are the odds? Not great. 2%. Hmm. I'm down to 1800 shells between the three ships, and I have yet to get one single kill. We're going to have to push in. I don't like it, but we're going to have to push in. Because we need to get more accuracy out of these guns. And thus more damage. All battleships, focus fire on the Philippines. No, I don't want any of the following nonsense. Just steady course. 2.5%, 2.8%. Two point five. Damage to the main tower, that's not good. As long as it's not destroyed, it can still function as a spotting tower. 
But I really don't want to get that thing blown up. There we go. Fire and flooding on the Philippines. She can sustain some flooding, though. That's a problem. 1.1. 1. 1. One and a half. The target's probably inside of a smoke screen. Yeah, the target's inside of smoke. New target, the Kentucky. 6% chance to hit the Kentucky. Now we're getting some more accuracy. The chance to pen, however, is dropping. Shit. I need something better than that. 24. Stern belt extended. Partial pen. The Philippines is pushing in. For some reason or another. Come on. Come on. We're now getting pretty close. What's your chance to pen me? 40%. Still not terrible. I can probably still survive a hit or two. For the battle cruiser, it's even worse. Less than 24%. Now, I'm considering making an attack with the torpedoes, with the, the destroyers, that is. But the concern is that the destroyers and potentially the heavy cruiser are going to just spot the torpedoes. Oh, sorry, the light cruiser can bear. They're going to spot the torpedoes and immediately warn the rest of the fleet, leading to zero hits. Ah, there we go. Two good hits. A little over 500 shells. Sorry, 1600 shells is about what we're at. Another hit to the bow extended on the Yamashiyo. I am not allowed to lose any of these ships. We're going to turn to port. And we're going to bring even more guns to bear. Another fire on the Philippines, but damage is still fairly limited. I need more. And they're inside of a smoke screen again. Damn. All ships, load high explosive. Target the main. Because if I'm not able to do damage with armor piercing, I'm going to try and do it with high explosive. It's not ideal. But we can potentially burn them down if you hit them enough. Five percent loss on the main. The Kentucky's down to 98 and the Dakota to 69. Which is nice, mandatorily, but she's still fighting with those 17s of hers. There is another option that I have, which is to turn away and sort of outweight the enemy. Just wait till they lose ammo. Or till they have so little ammo that they're going to be ineffective. That's going to take a while. Oh, they spotted the DDs, huh? Hold on. And they immediately switch fire to the DDs. All of them did. DDs, congratulations, you just got upgraded to target practice. Go at a very slight angle and keep doing loops. If they can make sure that the battleships are distracted, I have a potential to do some damage without being returned, or without taking shell fire in return. Even the battle cruiser is going for the... <laughs> okay. Come on. Yeah, I don't have anything to show for all these shells that I've fired. 1,365 shells fired. I'm spreading out my damage, but I'm doing very little beyond that. Auto, auto, and auto. Armor piercing isn't cutting it. High explosive isn't cutting it either. 
battle cruiser can be bent somewhat. It's just that the battleship cannot. Destroy the secondary gun. Alright. Oh no. There goes one point. Shit. Lose none of your destroyers. One point. Fuck. <coughs> That's not what I wanted. I still get the point for use a ship that costs no more than 120 million. And officially, I don't have to win the battle in order to get the point for lose none of your battleships. I mean, I can just disengage at some point. But so far, this is not boding well. You know what? Since it is one point for not losing any of your destroyers, I'm now allowed to lose all the others. Probably much to the chagrin of the, of the destroyers, but that's not my problem. The chance to pen these ships is just terrible. There goes the Mochizuki. And now they immediately switch fire back to me? On the battleships? Come on. And they hit the DD for 3,846 damage. Okay. That's uh, a lot of damage. I really hope we can do some sort of magical flash fire against the main, but I kind of doubt it. And them being 30,000 tons heavier than me doesn't give me a whole lot of benefit. Yes, I can turn a hell of a lot faster. But that's it. That's about all I have. Alright, DDs. This is gonna get pretty rough. Loose formation, flank speed. Maximum. Make yourself as difficult to hit as you possibly can be. Hmm, this is not going to end well, is it? Another little pen on the main. Ooh, fires are starting to add up. It's just that she has so many bulkheads that she does not really care that much. Damage to the main tower. Hmm. All battleships cease fire. I'm going to change tactics. I'm going to wait them out. I'm going to let them expend as much ammo as, as possible on my destroyers. And then, at the last possible moment, I'm going to try and push in with the battleships. Even though I do not have a lot of belt armor. And see if I can just, well, get a bit more chance to damage them. I've already lost one destroyer, so I can lose a whole bunch more. It doesn't matter. There we go. <laughs> that was probably a 17-inch high explosive shell. All right, this is going to take some time. A little while later, I'm down to one DD, the Yadaki. The battleships have expended about 200 shells trying to hunt down these destroyers, which keep, for them, pe uh, popping in and out of view. The damage to the destroyers is ridiculously high, 6,000 and 5,500 are near enough. But the plan slowly but steadily, appears to be working. This means that the DDs, um, despite being sacrificed one by one, are drawing a lot of fire. And the battleships, well, not the America, the battle cruiser, but the battleships Kentucky and Maine and North Dakota have expended quite a lot of ammunition. And the moment that the DD pops into view, it's almost instantaneous that the DDs, or that the DD, not the DDs anymore, but the DD singular, gets all the attention. As it suddenly becomes the majority <laughs> of the battleships and battlecruisers, if not the rest of the fleet at large, that takes aim at the DD. 
and starts wasting really big shells at it. So far, so good. Because we were at, I think, about 600 shells last time that I showed you. Now we're at 414, and the North Dakota just lit up yellow. Which means we're going to be running a little low on shells. And the AI then has the reasoning, hold on, if I'm running low on shells, maybe I should stop firing. So the North Dakota has ceased fire at the DD. Uh, this is a bit of an exploit, if you will, because I'm forcing the AI, well, I'm not forcing the AI to do anything. The AI, with its logic, has decided that the destroyer is the biggest risk. But because it does not have the right accuracy or the right amount of shells to continuously shell the DD, it ceases fire. And this allows my battleships to close the distance and thereby not get shot at on their way in. So it's a bit, um, well, I wouldn't really call it an exploit. Let's, uh, let's run with clever play. Because as long as the DD can function as the main attraction to the rest of the fleet, my battleships and thus my points might still have a chance. I just have to be very picky with my shells, because between my battleships I have about a thousand. A little over a thousand. Let's smoke up. Oof. Philippines is... 20, sorry, 23, yeah, 23 clicks out. 22.8 for the main. The issue is that the main and her other battleships are slightly faster than mine. That's annoying. Because I can do 26 at best. And some of my ships are doing just about that. But they have all taken at least some damage. Meaning that they're not going to be as fast. And with the Americans once again running away. Like much of the AI is doing lately. Well there's not too much that I can do about it. Oh this would be particularly annoying if this DD managed to kill me. Come on Melvin. Show me your speed. At least those torps will be very visible. Let's do something ridiculously dangerous and close the distance to the DD. Allowing the 4-inch guns to hopefully open up. And then the 3s and even the 2s if I get that close. Because at least I won't have to worry about sudden torpedoes coming in from 10 kilometer range. And wiping out one of my battleships. The Melvin is only doing 14 knots, so even the Yamashia with her 24 can catch that. North Dakota has spotted the Yadaki. And probably immediately switches fire. No, she doesn't, because she's out of shells. And so is the Kentucky. The main still has some. And is still firing at the battleship. The Philippines still has shells as well. Oh, who's that? That's the main. Switching target. To the Adaki. Melvin range, 10. I cannot turn too much towards her because then I might risk losing the battleships. Let's go to times 3. North Dakota's quiet, Kentucky's quiet. Maine is still going. Ah. The Melvin has been hit. These DDs are survivable though. Not to worry. The 4 inch guns are patient. And they have a lot of ammo. That's another hit. That's actually a pretty good score. 8 kilometers out. <coughs> 8 kilometers out. 3% chance. I'll take it. Well, that's unfortunate. Yadaki is down. Yadaki is down. Um, with the Yadaki down, I don't have a lightning rod anymore to attract the attention from the rest of the fleet. Which promptly engages my ships. Lovely. Most notably, I have put their focus on the Yamashio. There we go, now it's the 3's 
joining the fight. Come on, come on, come on. Melvin, don't torp me. Next season of Taskmaster, I'm going to have to put just increased complement of shells on all my ships. Because the way that I'm currently going about it is not great. Oh, she torped. She just torped. Yamashio, star return. These battleships and battlecruisers are just about out of shells. With the exception of the Philippines, there's the torpedo spread. we still got a couple of other DDs lingering about. The Ballard's over there, doing nine knots. And we got the, is that the Erben? No, it's the Cone. Doing 1.9 knots, she is definitely stuck. So for no other reason than just because I can, I'm going to let all these two inch guns and three inch and four inch take a DD apart. And there goes the Melvin. But how am I going to take down these ships? What's the closest one? Is that the Philippines? Yes. Chance to pen? Chance to ricochet is low? What are you, a broadside? No, chance to ricochet is average and increasing. Let's see if she wants to open fire or not, but I'm suspecting no. North Dakota shooting again. At the Masashi? No, at the Chagai. Crap. Uh, my chance to pen is a mere 38 and dropping. And the battleships are shooting again. Great. Come on. Run out of shells, why don't you? Chance to pen. 42% and dropping. The whole sniper build just went right out the window. That's no longer a play that I'm trying to make. Hold on, is the Philippines in or outside of smoke? Inside a smoke screen. Select that as your target. 17 clicks. And the Masashi, 17 clicks as well. Range, chance to pen 36, but dropping. Come on, get out of your smoke screen. Are you out? You're still inside of a smoke screen? No, you're not. No, you're really not inside of a smoke screen. The smoke screen's over there. There. Fire. Let's see if we can take down the battle cruiser. It's the lowest threat, but it is part of what I need to kill. Unfortunately, she just turned. Making it very unlikely that I'll pen. There we go. Flooding. Slow that thing down. How's the Yamashio doing? Trying to catch up. Shell's 312. I still don't really have anything to show for it. Why is the Philippines trying to attack? That makes little sense to me. She is really getting hammered by that high explosive. My chance to pen is still low and her chance to ricochet is really high. 300 shells left on Shogai. Come on, go broadside. Don't you want to use those stern guns as well? Come on, you know you want to. You know you want to. Do it. 
Do it, do it, do it. She's not gonna do it. There she goes. Turning. I'm probably gonna take a ton of damage on the Masashi. As the North Dakota and her 17-inch guns are opening up. Ooh. Chance to ricochet low. Load the high explosive. Sorry, unload the high explosive. Load the armor piercing. And get me some really nice punchy damage on the Philippines. Sink that battle cruiser quickly. Ooh, flooding on the Chagai. Missed completely with my other ship. The Philippines is now in 6.3 kilometer range, which means even the secondaries should be opening up. Come on, 50-50 chance to hit. If you want to hit him, do it now. Most of the ship has been seriously damaged. But, once again, she's turning away. Yamashiro, I need you in here. More flooding. Destroy the secondary. She's down to 10% structural integrity. We can take her. There is still the DD over there, the Erben. That thing has the potential to torpedo me still. Boom! Ammo detonation. One down. Keep pushing. Next target. The battleship. Hmm. 26% chance to pen. 30%. If I try to pen the battle cruiser, it's about 40. Uh, let's focus our efforts on the main for now then. Ooh. Juicy hits. Rudder damaged. Engine knocked out. Flooding. At closer range, those 16s could do some good damage. I'm just concerned that at some point I'll have a flash fire on one of my ships and lose my battleships. Or at least one of them. Oh, Canberra's getting in the way. Focus on that. worried about this. I keep taking damage after damage after damage. Hit after hit after hit. Don't focus on the battle cruiser. Well, no, actually focus on the battle cruiser because it's wide open to attack. There. Where's our third? No, not on the light cruiser, you numbnuts. Target the America. The battle cruiser needs to go. For some reason, the Erben still hasn't decided to torpedo me. I need you to slow down here, sir. We're putting some nice hurt on the main, but it's not going to work out at this point. Because I might not be around to see that thing sink. Did I accidentally turn off the guns? I must have. Oh, here comes the Torp. That was the Erben. Sending some love to the Masashi. Which is going to have all sorts of trouble dodging the majority of those. I don't see a good way through this. I'm going to try and mitigate the damage as much as possible, but I don't have a torpedo blister. And, more importantly, I'm opening the Masashi up to even more damage now. This is bad. Really bad. Especially with the Hopkins being able to torpedo me as well. I need to get rid of that DD as soon as I possibly can. The Canberra is a nuisance, nothing more. The Hopkins can kill me. Still targeting the battleship, huh? Well, you don't have too much to show for it. 
shit. She just launched her traps at the Masashi. There they are. I'm trying to blade myself as much as I can. But that also means I'm exposing more of the ship to the torpedoes. Or to the, um, the battleships. How many shells do they have? 150. 162. And 156. They're almost out. The America is down to 29%. Hopkins is starting to flood. More damage on the America. Good. Oh crap, I'm making myself one huge torpedo target. These battleships have so much armor. This is going to come right down to the wire. Come on. Keep putting pressure on these DDs. Battle cruiser down. Next target is the main. And she's hurting. She's flooding. She has a damaged engine, so her damage control is going to be less. What? Are we firing our main guns at the DD now? No, sorry, at a BB. We're still targeting the main. Good damage. More flooding. Where's the other battleship at? Here. 126 shells, 123 shells. It's, uh... Very unlikely that the Masashi will survive this encounter. And... With the very limited number of shells that I have, also very unlikely that I'll be able to sink all their ships. The Arabin is about to go down. Got him. Next target is the Hopkins for secondaries anyway. No, do not fire your main guns at the DD. Come on. The main is down to 8%. Buoyancy is dropping. Chogai seems to be taking more fire now. That's good. It means that Musashi might just survive. Main. 0.4% structural. Down. Done for. Hold. Main guns on the... Ken no, on the North Dakota. Not the Kentucky yet. <clears throat> that other ship is already damaged. And we keep pushing on that. Missed. Masashi, do not fire your main guns at a destroyer. Ever. Flooding on the North Dakota. More flooding. Kentucky. Oh, I can still win this. The Kentucky is about to run out of ammo. And so is the North Dakota. I can win this. It won't be pretty, but I can win this. Secondaries in the Canberra. I just need to drive right up to that battleship and blow a couple of holes in her at very short range. There. The North Dakota is taking a ton of damage. And Chugai has lost her main turret. The A turret's gone. But she can still fight. And... As she was pushing in, the Masashi, with her 5% structural, will survive. I'm going to slow you down as well, and hope that the Yamashio can take up the attention. Switch fire to the Kentucky, secondary still on the Canberra. Because the Dakota is turning away. I need you to switch fire to high explosive, maintain pressure on the Kentucky. Good hits. Good hits. Yamashio, fantastic accuracy. Oh no. Structural at a 15%. Back to armor piercing, please. Oh, that was not a good shot, Masashi. 20%, 50%. Switch fire to the North Dakota. I have 90 shells left. They have no ammo. Neither of them. This 
is unexpected. I'm pushing these battleships into positions that they really shouldn't be in. But I think I'm going to live with it. 12% structural, 36% buoyancy, 5% structural, 40% buoyancy. But the Yamashio is doing a healthy 100% buoyancy and 79% structural. And now she can just blast the Kentucky without taking damage. They might try to put her on fire with those small 4-inch, but that will not be sufficient. Her buoyancy is dropping. Her structural integrity is falling. This could be a nice thumbnail right here. If I can just get that other ship in the frame. There. Kentucky. Buoyancy dropping. I still have 111 shells on the Yamashio. She'll be fine. Secondaries on the light cruiser. Go on. 13% structural. We're rapidly taking the Canberra apart. Just with the 4s and the 3s and the 2s. 7% structural and 57% buoyancy. Come on. There is still a DD around. The Canberra's down. And the Kentucky. Go on. It's fried. There we go. <sighs> Job done. Sink all enemy battleships and battlecruisers. Two points. Lose none of your battleships. One point. Lose none of your destroyers. Failed. Use a ship that costs no more than 120 million. Succeeded. Four points for me this week. That's going to put me at 12 points. Will that be enough to beat out the competition? I don't know. The loss of the destroyers is regrettable, but I think it was required. Because if these destroyers had not absorbed as much fire as they did... I would not have had to, or I would not have been in the position where I could have pushed into the battleships. They would have still had ammo, and that would have killed me. So, 12 points in total for me this season. Join me next time around, but before you do that, be sure to check out the other guys to see how many points they get. Link down below in the description. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon for another video.